Hello, it's September 28th in New York City, and we're at Capitol Records. We have two people here that I want to introduce you to. Won't you introduce yourselves? I am Roma Kelly. And I am Raymond Dickers from Des Moines. We both are the capital of Iowa. Fine. And what are you doing here in New York, Roma? Uh, we are here on a um, sightseeing trip to courtesy of Capitol Records. Fine. And you too, Ray? Yes, uh, due to the joint uh, departments of uh, Yonkers Department Store in Des Moines, their potentiality with Capitol Records, we are in New York City. <laughs> Fine. How did, how did all this come about? Well, it, uh, there was a local drawing uh, of awards. We signed papers, preliminary, of course. And I happened to have drawn the, the local card, which was l locally uh, exploited. And that went through a national poll, as I understand, and we were notified to communicate in Miami, Florida, with a sales manager. Mm -hmm. And that started the ball rolling, so to speak. And how did you get here, Roma? I came along as excess baggage, really. <laughs> did you fly in? We did. We flew from Des Moines to Chicago, and then nonstop from Chicago on to New York City. When did you get here? What day? Uh, Thursday. Thursday? Last Thursday. Last Thursday, yes. Well, and 55. tell us what you've been doing now here in New York. Where did, you st where did you start out early Friday morning? Well, we really started Thursday night after we got here. Oh, did you? We went to Capitol Records' office, and Mr. Cook and Mr. Coveney took us out for the evening. Mm -hmm. First, we went to Beekman Towers. That's Mr. Coveney's had favorite. <laughs> had a beautiful view of the city. Then we went to um, Camillo's for dinner mm -hmm. and to Radio City Music Hall for... Uh, the movie Brigadoon with Gene Kelly. Fine, fine. Very wonderful. And then Friday morning, Ray, what what happened then? Let's see, Friday morning. Um, it was the next day after we arrived. The boat trip. Oh, that's right. We took the, the boat trip around the island. Uh, the three-hour sightseeing. The three hours, yeah. which uh, was a complete circling of Manhattan Island, of course, giving us an opportunity to see the splendors of building on Riverside Drive and the skyscraper district, of course, the distinguished United Nations building. In fact, the whole cyclorama of events we saw on the celebrated trip around the island. That's fine. Up the East River, the Harlem River, the East River, River and down yes. the North River. Up the East River and, and, and down the Hudson to the, right. the usual boat landing. Did you know that the Hudson River is not called the Hudson River, it's called the North River? I have heard that <laughs> in nomenclature, yes. <laughs> fine. Well, that brings us to Saturday. What happened on Saturday? We have been at Friday night. We oh, went Friday to Can-Can. Um, oh, Can-Can, sure. Uh, Friday afternoon, we went through Rockefeller Center. Mm-hmm. What did you think of that? Did oh, you like that? marvelous. Incidentally, this is your first trip to New York, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's fine. Not exactly, Jim. I was here many years ago when, as I've mentioned before, the Woolworth Building was still a novelty. Oh. So <laughs> I have been sort of initiated in New York before, but all the marvels of modern uh, construction are new to us. Mm -hmm. And we have been imbibing accordingly. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine. Well, on Saturday, did you go to the theater again Saturday? You, yes. took hmm? you took the boat trip up the Hudson Saturday. Oh, that's right. Saturday, I had in mind uh, taking an all-day trip to the Hudson so we might uh, see the Roosevelt Mansion and our celebrated military academy. But unfortunately, it was discontinued for the season. So we stopped at West Point so that uh, numerous people might see the game and up to Poughkeepsie mm -hmm. and back uh, rather late in the evening. Mm -hmm. Fine. And then Saturday night, did you live it up some more? Saturday uh, afternoon, I shopped around. I had uh -huh. lunch with Jack, Jack Dempsey's. Oh, yes. And I had dinner at Child's and met Turk Murphy. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we went to By the Beautiful Sea with Shirley Booth. It was wonderful. She wow. is. Glad you liked it, by the beautiful sea. Then that brings us to Sunday. Did you go to church on Sunday? Yes, we did. I went to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Mm-hmm. It's the most marvelous place I ever well, seen. Isn't a beautiful place? And where did you go, right? Well, for many years, I've been a devoted admirer of Dr. Fosdick. And to me, the visiting the Riverside Church was a tremendous, unparalleled experience. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was there three hours, Jim. <laughs> uh, the, the time having changed, I, uh, I was there an extra hour. Uh -huh. And by the time service had terminated, that was three hours, and I sat and drank in the exquisite beauties of Riverside Church, which I shall, in my own personal category, I shall call the most Im impressive of the objects of New York in a spiritual way. Wonderful. I understand that uh, John Coveney took you on 
a tour of Manhattan one day. Where did where did that you go? That was Sunday. We met at, at one o'clock. We went to the plaza. We were going to eat at the plaza, but uh, they were all filled up, so mm -hmm. we had lunch at the Waldorf Astoria. Fine. And from there on, it was terrific. Did you go to <laughs> Chinatown? Chinatown, the Bowery, Bowery. Orchard Street. Uh huh. Um, did you go down to Wall Street? Yes, we did. We went through Wall Trinity Street, Church. Greenwich Village, mm -hmm. and uh, then we took the subway to Harlem. Fine. Taxi through uh, Central Park. Mm hmm. And um, then we came back to the Toast of the Town TV show. Oh, yes. And then we had dinner at San Moritz. Fine, fine. Say, I'm sorry I wasn't here with you. <laughs> <laughs> and let me say, Jim, on that same trip, we had the privilege of seeing the Cathedral of St. John the Divine which is still, of course, in process of formation. When I was here about 25 years ago, uh, there all that was existing were the chapels in the Byzantine Dome before it was transformed into the Gothic style. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a revelation to see the glorious nave with a rose window on the west and the tremendous girth and height of, of the Gothic nave mm -hmm. with its foliated type of branching architecture. That church is the biggest Gothic structure in the world, I am told from reading the, the pamphlets. With the exception of St. Peter's in Rome, isn't that right? That's not Gothic, though, I don't think. No, that, that isn't Patrick's Gothic. That's uh, true indeed. St. Patrick's is Gothic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Riverside, the Cathedral of St. John the Divine, is still in process, process of transformation to the Gothic. And one can see the, uh, uh, the dissimilarity of styles quite mm -hmm. uh, markedly. Mm -hmm. 